Hello everyone, I'm Linda from the Fader team and today I'm gonna show you something really special. It is actually one of our latest feature editions and I think it perfectly exemplifies why Fader is such a unique platform because it is all about adding 3D environments to your scenes. Fader allows you to create uh, interactive 360 stories very easily and fast. If you haven't checked out any of the other tutorials, please do so. But now with this feature, it actually allows you to mix 360 content with 3D environments. I'll show you what I mean. Okay, so you log in to Fader and you create a new story and you are within your first scene of your story. Um, and now you will no longer see a plain black sphere anymore like we used to. Instead, you will see a 360 environment in 3D right away. So if you want to include an opening text for your story, it doesn't have to be done within this black a plain sphere, but you can do this with optional 360 environments, which is nice. So if you don't like this, you can you can go to the top left and click on left and the environment will be gone. So it'll go back to the black plain sphere if this is what you prefer. Um, if you do want to use an environment, you can browse through about a dozen different environments that you can pick for each of your scenes as a background. Again, these are not 360 stills, but actual 3D rendered environments. Um, now let's look at this example a little closer. You can always remove the current environment like this. You can always click on apply globally, then the same environment will be used for each new scene you open up. If you want to add a picture into the scene, you can either use 2D pictures and reposition them within the scene. You can turn them into interactive hotspots, etc. You can look um, that all up in different uh, tutorials. You can also add text and um, you see how the background might be more helpful than just a black sphere. Now, if you add a 360 photo or video to the scene, the 3D environment will be gone. So this is an either or option here. And uh, here are some further examples of backgrounds um, we provide for you. And environments are great if you want to add more depth to scenes with just text or some menu or uh, you know within a credit scene or scenes where you just want to display 2D content. Um, this is what it's great for. Quick and easy with Fader. This is just the beginning. We continue to work on this feature. We will extend it, we will modify it, we will add even further features because we want to make sure that you can focus on creating immersive stories without having to worry too much about the technical issues. If you have any questions regarding Fader or our work at Fragments, please contact us. I will link all the necessary infos down below. If you have any questions regarding the tutorials, please let us know and uh, we will see you on Fader soon.